What's poppin' Pisces? It is Tuesday, November the 28th, and it is 12.17 p.m. All right, and what I want to say to y'all is thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the donations and private readings. And thank you for all of those who go onto my web and purchase my candles. And these are all my candles, my candle, Pisces Studio Lisa Ramos. And like I said, I am the queen of breaking spells, okay? And I work the lights. I don't do the dark, all right? The black spell breaker candle is the way it burns, it tells you exactly what it is that's going on in your life, particular in your life. Just like this is a general reading. It's not a private reading. Private readings is all about you. General reading is about everybody, okay? And so this is the um, abundance and prosperity and wealth candle, okay? Remember, the way it burns is the way it tells you what's going on. This is the love candle, okay? And the love yourself candle is right here, all right? I always have a candle on my altar and I burn a justice candle. This is the walnut bath this is to cleanse your house okay um my oils come in dry form and in oils right i also have um my palo santo comes with my sage okay and this sage i grow right and i mix it with other rosemary so you can get that nice smell and not so that um uh, white sage is, whew, is powerful, right? And so um, the jewelry I wear, this one and my necklace is my jewelry, all right? And these are all my bracelets. And if you go onto my web, you will see that I sell crystals and stones, all kinds of stones, okay? And I have herb baths and I have salt baths. And this is my salt bath, okay? This is my salt bath, yes. And you see how chunky it is, all right? When I come back from my birthday cruise, I will be um, <clears throat> filling up everything on my um, store, or on my online store. I'm planning on giving this away and also this. I got to make what day I'm going to do it, okay? <clears throat> all right. Now, Pisces, like I said, I am grateful for each and every one of y'all. I'm grateful for all the support that you have given me. And for even, you know, I, I, I get the same people that do, that get readings from me. A lot of the peop the same people um, return and get readings from me. And I always say that people that get readings from me, I will forever mentor them even though I do have people on my web that use my phone number just to call me and never even order a reading from me, okay? So you can't get that in nobody's website because nobody's going to give you the opportunity to call them and even talk to you. They don't do that, okay? So um, to say that is sometimes um, I got all these people that want to talk to me about everything, but I did put a link there. In case you need a mentor, and I'm not talking about the people that get reading from me. I'm talking about the people that do not get reading from me, and I've never done a reading for you. Okay, so I'm talking to those people. If you happen to come by this channel, and you're welcome to stay if you want to. All right, I do curse on my channel, and I do do very different than most channels. So if you're sensitive about anything, or don't like the way people act on you, like churchy, but you in here then you need to leave, okay? Because you're not going to change anything about me, all right? Or my channel. So for those who are loyal to me and always been by my side, thank you. And for those who coming in to my YouTube and plan on staying by my side, you're more than welcome to stay. I do have a spiritual store, so if you think I'm a voodoo, hoodoo, witchy, I really don't give a fuck, okay? So let's get this party started, okay? So I'm going to, I always ask the spirits to guide me to do this reading and to let me see everything I need to see. The first part of the reading I usually say is the universe 
to spirits, the archangels speaking directly to you, all right, about the situation, all right? Cross watches, you're welcome to stay. And if I'm helping you cross watch, then stay, even if you're not a Pisces, all right? What this new moon that's coming around, it is telling you all about. Where you're at in your life is how it's going to be, okay? So you need to really focus on you and what you want rather than to focus on everything else around you that don't really mean shit, all right? If you stay focused on what you want, this new moon that's coming in is going to work for you perfectly. You got, um, you got uh, Sagittarius. You got Gemini, you got um, Pisces, Neptune, you got quite a few signs with this new moon. And let me tell you, and with Neptune there, and then with Pisces, let me tell you something. You know you're going to be all in your head, all in your brains, and picking your brains, and worrying about this, and stressing over stupid stuff, okay, in your feelings, and your emotions, like... Letting your mind take over everything. So, come on now. Get out of that. You know, things can, can really be crazy, but damn, control it. All right? Because this full moon is not, it's for you to start seeing clear because this is going to make a difference. Anytime a full moon is coming to be a full moon, anything can possibly happen. Anything. It can go, it can go real good or it can go real fucked up. Okay? But it's the way where you're at in your life and how you are putting things in order. If you're not in order, then it's going to be messy. If you're in order, then it's going to be smooth, smooth sailing. And it depends on how you conduct yourself. Okay? Make sure you take your bath, salt baths. Make sure you, you like your candles. Make sure you do your rituals, write letters, burn it to the universe. Make sure you're on your dean. All right? And talk to the universe the way you talk. To anybody. All right. All right. Here we go. And it's coming up. All right. So, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like on the 7th of December. I'm not sure. But um, I think it is. Okay. So, it's between, it's, you're going to have Gemini in December the 7th to the 8th. Okay. And it's a lot going on here. It's a lot of feelings. It's a, it's, you're dealing with a lot of mercury is showing up, okay? You got, a, um, uh, um, oh my God, you got mercury. You got, um, uh, um, um, it's a lot of signs in here. It's a whole lot of signs. And I really can break it down to you. But on December the 7th, you, you're, the moon will be in Gemini, okay? A lot of answers will be revealed to you, all right? A completion. Um, it's like the circle of life. What you want is a lot of um, communication is going to be coming through, right? Um, you got to make decisions here, okay? Mercury is also retrograde on um, both at 16 degree in Gemini, all right? So... It's like an overwhelm emotion, all right? Um, but remember, you have to fit this where it fits you, all right? You got Jupiter. It, um, also, in the sun, is in Jupiter, ruled by, um, I mean, Sagittarius, ruled by Jupiter, all right? A lot of things is going to be looking at the bigger picture than what it is. Aries and sun. The moon rising, all right? Rising, Virgo and Gemini in the sun. The moon rising. I am looking at you, okay? So, and then you got this Neptune that can confuse you and keep your mind fogged, all right? So, it's a lot of things coming around, all right? A lot of things. So, you got to be careful with this moon, all right? So, here we go. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Come on over here, Jojo. Jojo, come on. Jojo, come here. Come on, Jojo. Jojo, come here. Come on, Jojo. Here. Lay down here. Lay down there. He trying to find out where to lay because this little girl takes over. Oh, shoot. My phone dropped. 
I'm sorry. Whoa, wait a minute. I gotta get my something for here. Wait a minute. What the hell? Wait a minute, y'all. I'm sorry. My everything is tangled up. Oh Lord. Alright, well. First of all, everything is unplugged, so ain't nothing I can do about that right now. I gotta get this reading going. So what I'm telling you is to be gentle and kind and don't get so mad and overworking. You know, just ride this. Ride this the best way you can because if you don't, you're going to be in a ball full of craziness. All right. So it says working through your fears, the new moon and Scorpio, right? Your hard work is paying off the new moon in Capricorn. All right. All right. You got to work through all of this and don't give up on what you're doing for yourself because it's going to pay off. You just got to have a little patience. And I keep saying this. Patience, patience, patience. You must have patience. You must have patience. Okay? You must have patience. All right? So it's important that you have patience here. It's very important. Um... Be kind and gentle to yourself. It says, your communi communi uh, communication is being, oh, your communication is being tested. Full moon, the quarter moon. And it says, it's time to take action, the new moon in Aries. So, like, yeah, the universe, is everything you are going through, you're being tested. But the thing is, if you don't do it right and you don't do by you, you're going to wind up being in a, in a dark room and like in a bottom of the pit and you don't want to feel like that. So you got to, you got to really come off and, and do things different. Okay. You got to do it different. All right. You know, don't, don't let your emotions get the best of you or these situations that you in take over your thoughts and your feelings. Because you got to understand, people are going to be the way they are no matter what. You got to change you to hell with what they're doing. If something ain't right and you got to live through it, then you got to live through it. You got to just adjust yourself to the situation that you're in. A lot of people can't just leave a situation for many reasons. But if you're one of those people, you got to adjust yourself and not be so hard on yourself. Because it's bad enough the situation is being hard on you already. So you got to adjust yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself and get somebody that power over you. That's crazy. It says, have faith in your dreams. Wax. Okay, moon. Okay, that's the wax moon. Come on now. Have faith. Don't give up. I don't care what it is. It, it don't have to be a plan. It could be anything you plan on leaving the situation or you got to stay there for whatever reason. You, you got to have faith in yourself and make whatever situation you're in to fit you. Even if it don't fit you. Even if you don't want to be where you are at. And you have to be for whatever reasons. Nobody knows what somebody goes through behind closed doors. Nobody. And this is why I don't take pictures and do shit like that to make, oh, we in a happy thing. Ain't nobody happy shit. Like, shit, I take my own damn pictures. I don't get in no pictures with no man and all this. Because behind closed door, you going through fucking hell. So why sit there and act like everything is peaches and cream when it's not? Okay? Nah. If I'm going to be with somebody, I'm going to take a picture with somebody, right? And I'm going to advertise like we in love and all this. He going to be talking for me more than I'm going to be talking for him. Because it ain't that kind of party anymore. I gave enough of that. So you need to get your shit right. And I don't know what situation you're in. Nobody knows what you go through in your own house behind closed doors. People only see what you want them to see. And that's why they got that Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that shit that you can put pictures of you and all this bullshit that ain't even fucking real. Okay? Make it real. Make it about real reality shit. Not no fake shit. Like, and then people get mad when people leave remarks under there. 
they, um, you don't like what they say, but people know, honey. People, you got a lot of people out here. You're not the only Pisces in the world. People can read your ass, and they know that you're putting a fake ass picture with shit that you think is all good, and it's not just to make you look good or make you. If I ain't a fucking good mother, I ain't a fucking good mother. I don't give a fuck. Okay? If I don't like dealing with kids, I don't like dealing with kids. I'm not going to say, oh, oh, I do. And, oh, everything is free. Nah, 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 nah. It ain't like that. It ain't like that. I'm going to say it again. I have one child for a reason. One child, and I got a granddaughter that I don't see, and I got a grandson. Other than that, you don't see no kids in my house because I don't be doing that. So, listen, I keep it real. I keep it as real as I'm going to be, okay? I don't know too many Pisces that are into that, all right? And that's all I got to say. Keep it real with yourself. Keep your, for real, if you're going to put your business out there, then keep it real. If you ain't going to be real about your business, then don't put no fake ass bullshit up on Facebook, Instagram for people to, huh, huh, so you happy about your comment, because anybody can leave whatever they want on me, I don't care, but I'm going to be who I am, shit is fucked up, it's fucked up, I ain't got nobody in my life, I don't see nobody, I don't have nobody, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have, I don't have shit, and I'll be the first to see him tell you, I don't play games with my pussy, okay, I don't do that. Energy travels, who people sleep with, who people see, and you want to be a part of that, comes back to you. And I don't care what level I'm saying it in. A lot of people, like I say, have to be in situations for reasons. And, honey, I'm not mad at you if you got to be somewhere where you don't want to be, all right, because that's what you need to do. Then do it. Okay? Um... Some people are not married and they be in these situations because they need to be. Well, do it. <coughs> Teach his own. And I don't know what the problem is. I'm just here to do a reading. And I'm hard, I'm sorry if I'm being hard on you because I be hard on my damn self. You're not the only one. I don't just be here and do a reading and make it look like everything is peaches and cream in my life because it ain't fucking peaches and cream. Best to believe that shit. I got more problems than you can think. But one problem I don't have is a man. Because that's one thing I learned not to make it my problem. I am the solution to that fucking problem. Do you understand? Okay. It's time to release the negativity. The full moon and Scorpio. Release that negativity. Alright? Release it. Alright? Like, honey, mm-mm. Be bold and make the first move. Okay? Be bold and make that first move. And don't be afraid to do it. I don't care. Like I said, honey, you ain't got to leave a situation if you got to stay there. But damn, learn how to move around the situation. Learn to move around it. Don't be stuck in a situation and be like, well, I don't want to be here because they did this. Well, damn it, if you got to stay there... You might as well adjust yourself. Adjust yourself. Okay? Without allowing it to fuck you. Adjust yourself into whenever it is that you're going to be able to make that move the fuck out. Okay? I'm going to say something to you right now. This is an example of what that is. When I got locked up and I started doing time, okay? I had to adjust to that shit. I'm not used to somebody tell me go to the bathroom, get up, do this, do that. You can't do this. Like, treat me like I'm a little kid. But I couldn't leave there, right? I got to wait till all my time was up for them to set me free, for me to come out here and then decide, am I going to live right or am I going to go back there where I got to adjust myself to their laws, all right? It's a big difference. It's two different worlds. And that's what I'm saying. Wherever you are at in your life. And it's something that you got to adjust to. Because you can't leave a situation. Or you in it for whatever reason it is. And I don't know what reason it is. Adjust yourself. If 
it's going to benefit you, if it's going to benefit you, but you don't want to be there, adjust your damn self. <coughs> okay? Adjust yourself. All right? Because that's what this moon is about, adjusting yourself. And if you don't adjust yourself, then you're going to be in the bottom of the barrel. Okay? Going through these emotions and these feelings with this big old black, you know, smoke that you can't even see through. Because that's what you bring to yourself. Okay? If you don't have that problem with a person, whether it's a job or whatever it is, adjust yourself till you get better. Adjust yourself. Adjust your attitude. Your behavior, adjust yourself. Blend right on in, Pisces. You know how to do that. You can fit in anywhere they put you. Blend in. He 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 he. I can't. All right. Now it says one rain circus in that shoe. That shoe in the middle of the ocean on top of. An elephant. What it says. A one. One rain circus. About you. What fell with that is. Stuck in the mud. So if you can't adjust yourself. You will be stuck in that damn mud. And that full moon. Is right around the corner. Okay. And it's playing right now. Don't act like you're going to wait for the full moon. Oh it happened on this day. No, it's happening right now. That's why you are confused. You discombined. Because it's the way you feel. The way you feel. What's going through in your life right now. What you feel and what emotions you're going through. Is what's going to happen to you. Okay? So you must adjust. And, the, 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 and I should put this in the title. Adjust yourself. Because if you don't adjust yourself, you're going to wind up at the bottom of the barrel where somebody wants to hold you there. All right? Mountains. Oh, my God. Look at this. You've been through a lot. The moon is shining. Two birds are there. Look at this. This person looks like they one eye they can see and one they can't. You need to see it for what it is. You need to see it. For what it is. You've been through a lot. Alright. You've been through a lot. And let's not let's not keep blaming. A, a situation for where you are at. Because the situation cannot be. Where you are at. If you didn't allow it. Because I always tell you. You are the solution. To the situation. If you don't know nothing about my YouTube. You need to understand. You are the solution to the situation. You. You allow what is going on. Okay? And so you need to adjust yourself. Adjust yourself. Alright? To what it is. And that's what I'm about to say. Alright? Now it says, a spiritual place in Pisces. Can't nobody be like you. Nobody can be like you, Pisces. You're very spiritual. You're very in tune. All right? You can't... I don't... I try to explain this the best way I can. You cannot be in a situation where you're trying to control something. You need to adjust to it if you still want to be there. Okay? Be smart, damn it. You... you you the one with all the secrets. You the one that carried a book with the secrets that nobody knows. So you mean to tell me that you want to be in a situation and cry boo about it when all you got to do is adjust to it? Adjust to it, yes. All right? Till you ready to leave or whatever it is. And I don't know, my shit ain't with a person. Now my shit may be what? Me making my money. Me thinking, should I keep this YouTube open or should I go get a job? Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm at. It ain't about a person. Because, uh, oh, hell to the no. Because, honey, you better know. You better ask somebody because I don't want to even get there with your ass. Because, shit, you might want to come to my school and, 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 
and learn some lesson. Because I'm not the fucking one. And I've been like this all my fucking life. All my life. You know? And um, my mother was an Aquarius and she ain't play. You know, like shit. Like the apple don't fall from the tree. Uh, like they say. And I mean that shit. And I don't speak too much about my mother. How she was. Okay? But damn sure she controlled her shit. Huh? Did she? She damn sure did. She, she, she had everybody sitting down eating on the plate. And, every, and I'm talking about every fucking body. I ain't talking about her kids. I'm talking about her men. They all sat down. Shut the fuck up. She ran the show. Okay? And she sat them exactly where they were. Ain't nobody came and run her house. She let you know that shit. She ain't had no, nobody shit. She ain't give a fuck. All right? Now, it says, you need, be your own first. Make yourself first. Okay? Draw your castle. Do what you need to do. All right? And I don't know if somebody's an artist. I don't know if you, 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 what you do for a living, but you need to put yourself first. All right? And stop being stuck in shit. And, and, and I don't know who I'm talking to, but this shit is getting real serious here. All right? Because there's no reason why you can sit there and get yourself overwhelmed by a situation that you in when you know you can handle this. You have been handling it. Shit. You in the situation you in because you choose to be in it. Right? You choose everything that's in your life. All right? Yeah, you choose it. You don't know? All right, so library. Take control of your own navigation. Take control over your own life. Okay? Don't let nobody here have you like you are a puppet on the string. Take control over your life. Make yourself first. Okay? You can do this, Pisces. Like, you can't let nobody navigate you. Hell to the no. And it says, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Now, somebody can call you what they want. They can call me. And it's a lot of twos here. You got 25, 22, and 2. Okay? Now, people can call me a witch. They call me anything you want to call me. An evil bitch. I don't care what you call me. But call me Miss Bitch Witch. Call me that. Call me that. Alright? If you want to talk about me. Don't even know me. But if you want to talk about me. You know. Say it like it is. Okay? You don't know me. You know what I mean? Like, shit. What? You you know because of what you see right here. But um, the magic is in me. And that's why I do what I do. Okay? It is what it is. Alright? Um, that's it. Um, I do want to open up a channel, um, and it's not going to be, it's going to be a real channel of challenging people that passed over, and I mean Biggie, Tupac, anything like that. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to really show you my work. This is nothing to what I can do, all right? Yeah, I want to talk about them kind of things to spirits and get answers, all right, um, because I feel like I need to move on to something bigger of who I really am, all right, of who I really am, so you can see the witch that I am, how I speak to the spirits, all right, it is what it is, I'm not afraid to say who I am, okay, improve your health, Pisces, eat right, take care of yourself. All right? Drink a lot of water. Exercise. All right? Please improve your health. All right? Don't let nothing get to you to the point that you're not feeling right. You'll be ready. It says you're ready. And they're saying you're ready. They're opening the door saying you're ready. Okay? For whatever it is that's coming your way. But like I said, adjust yourself to a situation. Listen to your intuition, and this is directly talking to you. 
Okay? Listen to what you need to listen to. It's important that you do that, Pisces. All right? And this is the spirits talking to you before I even do your reading. All right? So you need to really hang on in there and start listening and stop um, going against what you feel inside of you. It's like, I don't know who I'm talking to, but this is outside of really on the side. You may be a person that you want to control a person, but that person don't never let you control them. So I don't even know why you're acting a damn fool. You look like a damn fool. You acting like a fool because you can't control shit, but you can adjust yourself, all right, and blend right on in. And that's the best thing about a Pisces. You can adjust to any situation and blend right on in. They don't even see it. So why can't you do that, all right, instead of being loud and obnoxious and upset about shit, all right? Why don't you show that sweetness and it's like, how they say that evil, that evil queen, all right? You deserve sugar, not salt. Why don't you be sweet and study throwing salt? Because the sweeter you are, all right, the sweeter it is for them to swallow you, okay? Do you understand? Come on, Pisces. You already know. Ain't no need to argue with nobody. Ain't no need to... They, you know, put your point across. Motherfuckers know how it is. All you got to do is be nice and then try and then start readjusting them numbers. Like from 1 to 10, you know, 10 is high and then 1 is low. So you've been on 10. So start readjusting it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You thought. You thought. Let me put you on right now. Let me put you on like 7 before I get to 5 where you balancing shit. All right? You got to work your way. You ain't got to be explosive. Be gentle. Okay? It says breathe. Breathe easy. Breathe easy, Pisces. Take it easy. All right? Why? That's you. That's you. But why this and why that? You want an answer to everything. I don't want to ask why. I know the why. I li I'm living in the why. Okay? I go with the flow. I don't want to know the why. I go with the flow. And the less you want to know, and the more you keep your mouth shut, the better off you're going to be. Okay? All right? I mean, sometimes I talk to some Pisces, and their conversation is the same conversation over and over and over. It's like they sound like a broken fucking record. Right? Because they know they fucked up. And they know that who, whatever situation they're in, they fucked up with that situation. Right? And so they want to know why and if and if, all that shit. It's in your damn face. What more? Honey, I'll be like, if I don't hang up right now, and, I, and one thing about me, if I say you said it one too many times, I'm done with your conversation. You need to know that I don't sit on the other line being like, well, I wish they just stopped. No, I tell you to your face. You're repeating yourself over and over and over. And I would tell you, okay? Some people don't know how to be alone. But I don't give that much open space for you to fuck me. Uh, you already done it one too many times, okay? I I'm not going to be a fool for you. And so you need to know it, Okay? All right, tell me, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Time for a nap. Take a break. Take a break. All right? If, 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 if some people did everything that they do, and they always talk about how their life is so fucking chaotic, or this and that, or this person is doing that, if somebody here... Can put all the energy and all the, the 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 good side of you and what you think all the negative or what you in front of or what how somebody make you feel or how somebody don't respect you or whatever it is. If somebody start looking at themselves and all the beautiful things that who you are, but you so it's like you your world revolves around. One thing, and it's like you can't get your mind off of that one thing, and most likely is a human being. 
a situation that you can control, but you don't know how to control it because you're too busy worrying about everything but what matters. And what matters is you. You, honey, you are the one that can control and fix. You are the one that solves your own problem, but you can't see it because you're too busy worrying about them that you can't worry about your damn self. All right? And if you 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 got too much invested in your mind with a situation that you seem like this is all you know. This is all you know. It's like you want to be the detective. You want to be the judge. You want to be Jesus. You want to be everybody with a person or a situation. And you can't be. It's like you can't sleep right because you're too busy with worrying about them that you can't even sleep. You, you want to know moves. You want to know why, it, what, what is. Damn. Come on now. You need to get paid to be a detective. and Because and, you ain't getting paid to do this. So, But you're doing it. and But you don't need to do it because you know the result is in your face. So why you, I don't understand why you're doing it. Okay. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And this person teaches you too much shit because then you got codependence. Uh, addictions are affecting your romance life. What this person can be addicted to other women. This person can be addicted to sex. This person can you can be addicted to their money, to what they got, to live in a certain style. You know, it's many addiction that this person comes with, and this person has to teach you many lessons. But like I said, you need to. Um, control the situation and you know you should be solving it and doing it in a classy way okay so a heart to heart conversation discuss honest discussion honest discuss your feelings with each other this person is like they don't even want to hear what the fuck you got to say because if they got to do what how you do me with the same old shit and you can't get over this shit Honey, it could be, and let me tell you something. Let's get something straight right now. I'm not talking to somebody that I do a reading for, that I do a reading and I don't talk to you very often. I'm talking to somebody I talk to all the fucking time. Like I know your whole fucking family. Okay? And you still tell me the same old shit. But if I tell you something that I'm going through, you'll be the first to say, you need to leave that motherfucker alone because he ain't shit, this and that. But you're not looking at your own fucking picture. Like, I'm fucking trying to hold you up, right? But And I'm holding myself up because I ain't never been back to that shit. Okay? And I know how to treat that shit. I'm not putting my hands out giving you everything and ain't nothing giving back to me. I learned. But... Have this same person learn no, because they tell me the same old shit. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. That shit is crazy. It says, call it in your soulmate. Your prayers um, are being visualized and help bring you together. But honey, if you call in in this soulmate and this is what you want, then you got a problem. Then it's like you need to love yourself because you're not loving yourself. It's like you want to control a situation. You want this to be your way. Engagement. Your love life is extending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. So, you're looking at this because this is what you want. Okay. But, you better be careful what you're asking for because you got somebody with a lot of addiction. And you are addicted to them for whatever reason you are. I don't fucking know. Okay? I don't want to be addicted to dick and dick ain't got no damn money to get me and help me out. But I'm giving them my piece of pie. Okay? That don't even sound right. I don't want to be with somebody that has all this other shit going on. But then I got to argue with you to find out how you going to fit me into your time, into your life. Right? That's not what it's about. So, like I said, you really need to get going to where you need to be. If the shit ain't right, you can't make it right. You holding on and holding on and holding on. And if you can't get out of a situation, then you need to um 
fix it, you know, adjust it. Because if you can't let it go, I don't know what to tell you. Then that means you're going to be stuck right where you at for as long as it takes for you to realize that it ain't worth it. And I don't know what your situation is. I have no clue. But what I will tell you is, you're the only one that can make the moves. Only you can do it. Not Nobody can do it for you but you. Only you got to lay in the bed. Only you got to question your ass every day about how your life is. Okay? And if you have kids, if you're one of them parents that got kids, and your kids are going to school and doing all that, and you got a career of your own, but you haven't been out in that workforce for a long time because you was used to being mama dearest in the house to daddy dearest and all that shit, baby, I would get back into my career. I, I would jump right back in it. That means I have my own life going on. Instead of sitting in the house waiting for the kids to get off the school bus or and dealing with shit because you ain't got a life. You just sitting there looking at the four walls doing the same shit you do every day. Same fucking shit. All right? Or maybe this man or you or this man works from home or you married. I don't know what the situation is, but it's just too chaotic. All right? And everything is hush-hush unless you talk about it. You sitting within yourself like you can really tear off these, these layers of skin, but you, you know, you're not, you're not renewing yourself. It's like you sitting there with all these layers of things that are wearing you down to no return. And all you can do is sit there and cry and boo-hoo and feel sorry for yourself. Fit it with fit. And this, this ain't for everybody, but fit it with fit. Okay. The Knight of Wands is coming running towards you. And this person looked like they fucking happy as hell. Uh, happy as hell. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. They coming like they do not see no tomorrow. They flying towards you. All right. The Wands. All right. What puts a passion of fire in your soul? What is it? Like this person's coming with fire and passion. You know, happy to start this whole passion because walls are very passionate people very sexual people okay and um i would say they think with their dicks too all right they even the um the wands uh, the queen of wands very sexual like very whorish okay and i don't mean to say it like that but it's the truth you know um so with this um Knight of Wands coming in and coming in happy as a motherfucker, right? You got two, the two of Pentacles is like balancing. Bringing balance and both of y'all are happy to bring balance into this relationship. And this is what happened before. Okay, so this is already happening in your life. So it's like I met my, my knight. I met my knight and my knight. Used to bring everything balanced to me. Made me feel good. Everything was cool with us. You know, ran home to be with me. Um, came, bought me flowers, candy, took me out. You know, show me everything that I wanted to see in him. All the good. All right. Um, but um, tell me more. Tell me more about this person. So at first, it was a lot of good times. All right. Y'all was like, would, would you see these two pages? The um page, I mean the um the 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 uh what am I trying to say here? The pinnacles, the two of pinnacles, like y'all used to be all young in love, okay, young in love, and everything was good. And maybe before you met this person, you was with somebody else, and it's like they was fighting for your attention, or maybe you were seeing two people and this person won. Okay, I don't know. Right? But um, with the five of wands, the best man won. So somebody won. All right? Somebody took your heart and they won. Right? Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But then you got the temperance. Again, you need to bring balance. It was balance to this. All right? It was balance. You know, you knew how to do things 
the way that they liked. You made sure that everything was good. And this is when you first started seeing this person. Like, people thought that y'all was a good couple. You know, um, you know, whatever you used to do, um, people, like this person liked the way you worked or how you conduct yourself. Or maybe you had your own business or whatever it was. All right, whatever career you had before you met this person, you was doing good. All right, this person know that you was being acknowledged. Like you... People love, you know, you was loved and you had balance going on in your life. You know, you was walking that path of happiness. But that's what you did with this person, okay? Um, but, it, but this person, to get to you, they, you know, you had to let go of somebody at the beginning, all right? But you felt good. And I don't know, I see a little kid there, a little boy. And I see this lady putting this, you know, ring of flowers around your head. Like you, like, and knowledge was nothing to be said. Like you really had it going on. But it's somebody here that always watched you. And he got a smile on his face too. Okay. And there was a woman here that never showed her face. So you got a man and a woman. All right. So... Maybe you was competing against his wife or ex-wife. And maybe this man had an ex-wife or an ex-girlfriend. Um, or, um, or the person you was with, um, you had somebody else besides them. But it was like an ex or an ex-wife and you had an ex-husband or an ex-boyfriend or something. But it was some type of competition going on. To get your attention. Because you was like the hottest thing moving honey. When that person met you. You was like everything honey. You was popping off. Alright. You had that shit on lockdown. Okay. So let's see what happened. That's what already happened. Um, what happened from the beginning. Where, where things was beautiful. You know this person was fighting for your attention. Fight for you honey. Like trying to take you off the single list. Or if you were somebody, if you was with somebody, they wanted to fight for your attention. And I don't know whatever happened, but everything was peaches and cream, okay? Um, but you got somebody here that didn't like you. Um, or if you had a wedding, somebody didn't attend your wedding on there or his kids or whatever. Or um, whatever it was, you had people that didn't attend this reunion, all right? But um, it, it seemed like this person fought to have you and everything was good. It was a lot of balance. Money money was right. Um, you know, everything was walking that straight line. But I feel like when you first started with this person, I think you gave up your power. Because Pisces do that. All right? Pisces do that. Because we want to always live the antique way where, you know, back in the day, the woman was taking care of the house and... Making sure everything is clean, the food is done. When a man come home, the water is ran, the clothes is there. Like, all kinds. Like, what the fuck? And I'm going to tell you, that was me. I'll be the first to tell you. I made sure everything was right. House smelled good. House was clean. Food was on the stove. You know, everything just catered to this person. All right? So, tell me more about this one. And that's what already happened. But along the way, um... What's happening now with this, um, somebody wants to argue. Somebody wants to fight, all right? Somebody is dealing with more than one person here. Um, somebody's in competition, right? Yeah. Um, the five of swords. Um, but you need to ask yourself, is it worth arguing? Because if it ain't worth arguing, you need to adjust yourself. To saying, I'm not arguing with this person. It ain't even worth it. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. All right? Um, tell me more. Tell me more about this two of pentacles. The queen of swords. Um, you're not going to argue, but you're going to get some answers. All right? You're not going to move, but you thinking clear. All right? You sitting there waiting. For this information. 
gathering information, seeking information. All right? You've been through a lot. And it's like you're sick of it. You're sick of the bullshit. All right? Um, the Queen of Swords, you know, she ain't like most queens. She ain't worried about all of this beautiful thing going on. She's cool with some jeans or whatever and walk out. But her attitude ain't nothing to fuck with. Remember, she got the swords. She will cut your ass, rip your ass, shred your ass, and throw you to the gators. Okay? The queen of swords knows how to keep everything leveled up. All right? She's, she doesn't like to talk. She's quiet. She's laid back. Very conservative. Right? She's not into the materialistic things. Right? When she talks, she talks straight forward. Sometimes she can come off very, very short with her words and the way she moves. Right? But she's a good person. She's been through hell and back. All right? She, when somebody talks to her, she looks at it. She don't say nothing because she wants to write everything in her mind. How you saying it? And later on, she'll catch you in a lie. She seeks the truth. All right? Justice. She walks with integrity. She likes to be honest and straightforward. All right, Pisces? All right, so you're not going to argue. You like shit. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to get to the bottom of all of this, okay? And that's the way you move, quietly, okay, with integrity. Hold your head up. Don't let nobody know how you move, all right? Tell me more about this six. And with this, this is um, somebody here. The Ten of Cups. Somebody wants to Gemini, a, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Somebody here wants to make it official. Somebody wants to give you everything. That Ten of Cups. Or Happy Family. Okay? Are you seeking information do it's like it, it is this a real happy family or am I questioning this all right because something just doesn't seem right something here doesn't seem right all right and that's how you're looking at it like something here is just not right and you want more information all right you feel in some type of way here. You 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 feel like something is just not moving right. Like this is not this ten of cups. Like, no, nah, I need to see shit. I need to know shit. You know? I mean, do you feel or is this is this person fighting and you don't know that it's a fight going on, right? With this situation that they in? You know, you're not moving because you feel like I'm not going to move into no shit that I don't really know about, that I don't know anything about, all right? It's like you're looking for the answers, but you really don't know what's going on behind the curtains. And But they want to make you feel like everything is peaches and cream with this family, but it really ain't. Mm. All right, Pisces, this can be very messy here. Um, I don't know, Pisces. I don't know what to tell you, but somebody here is um, wants to know a lot of answers. And sometimes, Pisces, I'll be like this, and I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I don't, I'd rather just sit back and let everything come to the light than sit there and drive myself crazy trying to seek shit and, and just, you know, sometimes it's just like you need to just sit back. And deserve everything. Alright? Because you're going to get the answers you seek. It, but you just got to sit back and let it unfold on its own. Okay? Tell me about this Five of Swords. The Eight of Wands. And, and this person is like moving, running towards you. Alright? It's a fight. But whatever's going on, it's like somebody is, is, somebody is moving. And the, the Eight 
Awan shows, um, somebody's moving so fast, maybe they, they fucking missing the point, because they, it's like things are moving very fast, but it's like somebody, it's a, it's a cat that you don't even see, or, um, uh, yeah, it's a cat, but you running so damn fast that you don't even see the cat. It's like somebody wants to run. But don't be running so fast, honey, because you're not even seeing anything. You're just running straight. It's like this person, I don't want to fight. I, I, I mean, I'm just trying to run back. You know, trying to get back. Somebody's want to run back into what it was, or they want to... Um, moving fast toward, you know, whatever argument that you ain't seeing or whatever it was. It's like, I come back and fix what, what happened. All right. Somebody's moving fast, honey. Back in. It, okay. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Tell me more about this Queen. Of, matter of fact, tell me more about why is this Eight of Wands here? The Nine of Cups. Somebody want to move back in, but Pisces, the Nine of Cups is like everything you want. So you got the Ten of Cups, now you got the Eight of Wands moving fast, and the Nine of Cups. It's like you are praying to God. And whatever it is that you're praying to God, whatever it is, honey, it's like it's starting to snow. Right? But it ain't no, there is no leaves on the tree. It looks like it's almost like. I don't know. It looks like it's gray outside. It looks like it's gray outside. Right? It's like you really... You really praying. You really doing your rituals. You really grinding yourself. And it's like... Something is going to be moving fast for you. But the way it is, it's like you need to handle yourself. You don't need to argue with nobody. All right, you don't know what's going on, but you don't need to try to make things move fast in, in that way. You need to take your time. Don't rush anything. Okay, don't be in a rush for it. It's like you're praying on it, but you want things to move fast. All right, but you need to be calm about shit and have patience. Tell me more about this queen of swords. Tell me more about this. Queen of Swords. Um, the, the nines also means attachment. All right. Things may be moving fast, but it's like you want to be attached to this. And, honey, you better be careful what you're asking for. Because you might get something that you ain't got no business getting. Right? And then it may not be good for you. The, the nine of, of cups... Jupiter and Pisces. Jupiter and Pisces. And if you look at everything that's going on right now, that is Neptune, Jupiter, um, Virgo. You need, because that's what's happening right now with that full moon. So it's trying to tell you, 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 you need to come right. You need to come really right, okay? Um, <coughs> because... You got majors, but you need to come right, honey. The nine of uh, 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 the nine of wishful thinking, finally adjustment, a realization, attachment. All right, all right. The queen of swords is thinking logical. She ain't playing. Okay, tell me more about this queen of swords. So you got nines. You got a lot of nines here. The nine of swords. Somebody here is stressing. Stressing. Stressed out. Okay. Again, you got your hands up. How many? I mean, your hands is up here. Your hands is up here. You got the queen of swords. But you, you got your hands up. What the fuck? It's like you can't sleep. You can't think. You're just constantly thinking about this. It's like you you are your worst nightmare. Your own worst nightmare. All right? You you, you got insomnia. You, know, you you like, oh my God, when would this end? Like you putting too much into this. Too much thinking. All right? 
Now you got the nine of swords. Like, come on, Pisces. Now, what the hell? Right? The nine of swords. Here we go again. The nine of swords. Right? Um, A realization. Some type of an attachment that you got there. All right? Um, uh, the nine of swords. Come on now. Tell me more, honey. The nine of swords to be straightforward. Mars and Gemini, again, this is what is happening. This is what is happening right now with that full moon. I can't keep telling you how it is, but that is exactly what's happening right now on that full moon, okay? You are feeling that effect, but why you feeling it is because you are in it, and it's like you allowing this to control you, right? You allowing it to control you you all right so you need to let go of it controlling you and being all attached to something this bad where you can't even think straight it's like it's consuming too much of your time all right you need to allow this to like detach from it like you too attached to all of this is driving you insane because the Queen of Swords is there, and that's what it is. You're looking for this, but it's like you are in your head over this, in your thoughts. You keep praying and praying and praying, all right? Tell me more. And it's about a family, a connection, wanting to be having this Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Um, Tell me more. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Um, so you got the hyphen. And this is the man hyphen, not the woman, because these cards got the woman and the man. But you got the man hyphen. So you may be dealing with a Pisces man. All right? And this person got an open book. Like this person knows. All right, this person knows, honey, what they need to do. All right, this person is very clear about what they want to do. They're very in tune, very spiritual, just like you, right? Now, Pisces, you carry the cross, they carry the sun, all right? Um, this person feels like, you know... You feel like since this person keeps keep keeping me in suspense and I don't know, I, it seems like they're very mysterious to you. Like you don't know how they move from one minute to the next. It's like they always keep you in your head and in your thoughts, right? But it's the Ten of Wands is saying, I need to let go of these birds. I need to let go of this person because this person got too much problems going on. And none of them are mine. Like I need to let go. Of all of this bullshit. Alright. Because it seems like you outside. Burning the wood. Feeding it into the, a fire. To stay warm. Alright. What you need to get the fuck out of there. Get going. Alright. Why the hell are you out in the sun. I mean out in the uh, snow. Trying to keep this fire burning. If it ain't going to burn. It ain't going to burn. Let that motherfucker go. Throw all the warmth. In the fire and burn all that shit and release everything that's on your back and move on. All right? Move on from this heavy burden that you're carrying. If you move on from it, then everything will be lighter to you. Things will be lighter on your back. It's like you put too much weight on you. That is not for you. Okay? Advancement. If you, if you let go of some of that, you can advance. But maybe you don't want to advance because you want to stay stuck on with the bullshit. Okay? Um, so the eight of wands, Mercury and Sign of Sagittarius, and that's all that's going on right now with this full moon. The eight advancement, study, and progressing, a resort. Like you, it's like this place is very familiar to you. You've been there before, okay? You've been there before, all right? It, you need to 
keep moving because you're very familiar to this and you need to give everybody their wants back so that you can move on and you can progress in your life. And believe in me, once you let this go, you're going to get the right help. Help is there. But you just, it's like worrying too much about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Or you worrying about how they treating this person. Worry about how they treating you, damn it. All right? Worry about what's in front of you, what you got. It's like you want to, if you can zipper a person up and put a lock and change and keys and all that. And be the one that's putting them in a the cell and, and, and you tell the person, I'm going to tell you when you're going to eat. I'm going to tell you when you go go out and shit and piss and take a shot. That will make you happy, but it don't work that way. You need to let go of what's burdening you, honey. That heavy load that you got that is wearing you the fuck out, honey. That you can't sleep and think about it because that's all you think about. All right? Let it go. Pisces, if you need a reading and get it from me or someone else, but you got too much on your back, honey. You breaking your own back because you can't get out of your own fucking thoughts. All right? You can't get out of your thoughts. You can't let go. It's like holding on to a bunch of a bag of shit. All right? Like that bag, lady. Let some of them bags go, honey, so you can feel good about yourself. All right? All right, Pisces. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.